radiocarbon of Egyptian artifacts shows serious contradictions. We shall once again consider the alleged reliability of the radiocarbon method used for supporting the traditional version of the ancient history, particularly Egyptian, as reflected in a fundamental and detailed article published by the Manchester Museum in England in 1979 as part of the project named The Mummies of the Manchester Museum. The radiocarbon dating of the mummy from the Manchester Museum collection attributed the mummy's bones to 1000 BC. Whereas the cloth that the mummy has been wrapped in received the dating of 380 AD. The discrepancy between the datings of the mummy and the cloth equals some 1400 years, although the dates should be equal. The cloth may be somewhat older than the mummy if an old cloth had been used by the embalmers. But it couldn't possibly have belonged to a later age. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. He follows in the footsteps of Sir Isaac Newton and finds clear evidence of the falsification of history. Armed with logic, astronomy and computers, Anatoly Fomenko proves that the history of humankind is dramatically different and drastically shorter than is generally presumed. History, fiction or science is now available in bookshops and on Amazon.com.